And welcome back, everybody. Our next guest are founders of uh, Educate to Power. Educate to Power, you can clap on that right there. It's an organization working to spread education and joining us with all the details. We have, uh, they're going to be working all around the community. We have the workers and the founders. Tell us about your organization. Okay, we're a nonprofit organization, 501c3. We um, started it back in 2015. And um, we've been doing that kind of stuff in terms of educating to empower for many years, but we made it official with a nonprofit. So we do a number of things. Mm -hmm. um, we do workshops on imagery and its power, um, some, another one called the Lyrics Showdown, um, the N words multilayered power structure. Imagery and its power? Yeah. Right. That sounds pretty mm -hmm. deep. <laughs> yes. You can it touch is. it, touch it. <laughs> Well, what we do is with imagery and its power, we show uh, various footage um, and we, we show our audience how imagery is shaped and media, with media, prop, media manipulation and propaganda. Don't talk about it. Go so ahead. It's, it's very interesting how media is able to manipulate the minds of so many to form stereotypes. Mm -hmm. And so what we like to do with our workshops is we go, we go back to antiquity and we break down everything because it's, it's not only educate to empower, it, we break it down with research, critical analysis, and solutions. I'm glad somebody's doing that mm -hmm. because you know you, you see a lot of things on TV and you hear a lot of things on radio and there's a lot of uh, subliminal seduction and a lot of stuff going on. Exactly, so. and, and the theme is it, with all of this pop culture and the music, when you're dancing to music that's calling you N's and B's and all of this other stuff, and then you turn around and say, me too, where's the accountability in that? I see, I see. Where's the account You've already danced to a Cardi B song just that was degrading. Jay-Z's music that's degrading, calling you N's and all of this other stuff. We were never N's, we aren't now, and we never will be. So that's the whole psychology has to be mm -hmm. gotten rid of. So that's why you, you are coming up with this awareness, you're creating this we, awareness to show people that, hey, look, you're doing this, but then you say you're this. Right, exactly. Just to let people know. And then not only are we saying you're doing this, but, and you say this, we're breaking it down. We're giving them an understanding because we're taking it back. Mm -hmm. We're doing the research. We're taking it back to antiquity, and we're bringing it forward. We do mm -hmm. lyrics showdown where we're comparing lyrics of the past to lyrics of today and the, the mood of the community. And where do you do this? Time. In workshops? What, how, how's this done? Yeah, we go, we go to different places. We start at the, usually at the middle school level. Gotcha. And then go up through University college and, uh, you know. And the middle school centers. because students are still moldable. They're still exactly. around. When, once they, yeah. They're a little more hardened once they get into high school and college. Right. So right. we're trying to tap into their critical thinking mm -hmm. skills early. Right. Gotcha. Due to the fact that the media is so powerful with what they can present and it can hook people in. It's a great responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been telling people for years, you know, you have to be careful what you say. I mean, no, right. nobody's perfect. Things get out. You may see, say the wrong word, but uh, mm -hmm. you, once you say the wrong, you can't pull it back. Right. You got to come back later and say, well, you know, I didn't mean that. I meant this. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, once it's out there, it's tight. Right. But mm -hmm. if you're working on a project and you know you're putting it out there like that, then mm -hmm. you have room to fix it? Yes. Well, definitely. We're hoping that people, you know, critical, critical thinking skills will um, be activated. But we're also working with Bob Law with the National Black Leadership Alliance and Quab and I with Clear the Airways. Give Bob Law project. a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> I get his mail and he gets my mail and we got a, they call me, Bob, hey, Bob Law. No, I'm Bob Lee. That's <laughs> Bob Law. <laughs> yeah, so we're working yeah. with people around the country to try to bring attention to this critical situation we're in. Right, and we're also very solution oriented. You know, we believe in, you know, we, we provide a presentation that gives a lot of information and then we have solutions at the end for people to work on, you mm. know, let's get this issue resolved. Not just a lot of talk. Yeah, I mm -hmm. like that. And, and then a follow up. Uh, yes, let's talk about that great it. follow up because mm -hmm. sometimes you go into a school and you, let them, you hit them with something. You know, they think about it and it may, may fade away after about a couple right. of days, a week or so. So you have to come in and have that follow up. Right, yeah. And we've actually been doing that as well. Uh, your previous guests, we also work with the, uh, we started a project recently with Rikers Island through Friends of Island Academy. So we've actually been going there consistently, working with the, we call them participants. Mm -hmm. So working with them, giving the presentation and doing 
different things. And we're starting to see results already mm. um, because that's what we've wanted to do for a long time, work with people, cons work with a group consistently right. so they yeah. can really get the benefits of what we do. So you guys have a podcast. Mm -hmm. yes. Tell us about it. <laughs> well, it's a podcast where we interview people who are passionate about what they do. You know, it doesn't matter if it's their profession or if it's a hobby, but they're just passionate about it. They, you know, they talk about it, and it's called Lucky 13. It's just 13 questions that we ask. Mm -hmm. So generally, we try to keep it to 30 minutes or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. And what mm -hmm. made you want to start that? Um, because it was part of the, uh, when we started out, um, uh, nonprofit officially as a 501c3, we thought it would be interesting in the process of educating to empower, uh, speaking with people again who are passionate about what they do and they share what they do with others. So the you're, you're empowering people, you're creating this great awareness, and the, mm -hmm. you have something coming up that we should go to or a website we should go to to take a uh, look at? Uh, yeah, well, our website is educate empower.org. Uh -huh. So that's the website. People can check it out, you know, anytime. Last word. And we're also um, working with B Manufacturing and the Civil Rights Museum on the I Am a Man, Martin Luther King, you know, uh, upcoming, upcoming commemoration of uh -huh. his uh, anniversary. Uh, Assassination. Well, you got to send the whole audience a jacket. I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying, like they do in baseball, where they have 42 day yeah. in memory of um, Jackie Robinson. We're uh -huh. trying to do that for um, That's beautiful. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Excellent. Give us the website again. Educate-empower.org. Marcia Harris, give a big round of applause, everybody. Co-founder Educate to Empower Incorporated. And Tanya Harris, co-founder, Educate to Empower, Empower and Cooperation. Thank you guys right. so much for putting it all together. Thanks. And we'll be looking forward to the podcast and all the wonderful things that you bring to the table. Excellent. we got to take you. a quick break, but coming up, we'll hear about the story and work of a young actor. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.